Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on Haruna. Um, I recorded a video before this, but then I've been talking with uh, some members of, of our guild cluster um, on how to build this hero, and actually uh, it's it's been interesting. So, okay, this character, new Matrix hero, right? Uh, built specifically for Rift of Chaos Fireboss. I talked about her a little bit, in a prior video, but we'll talk about her again here. So, uh, I have her fully booked for you. Okay, fully booked. Uh, yeah, she gets that crit damage and crit rate stuff here, and I think her like masteries for the abilities do matter. I guess. Uh, so, uh, we'll talk about her kit, and we'll go over what I think about her. Okay, uh, there's been other content creators that have done videos on her without uh, books, and she does seem worthless there. Uh, so let's let's just talk about her trait a little bit, things like that, and then, you know, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. So her trait, <laughs> active attacks remove one positive effect on the target. When attacked, reduces damage received, capped at 60% according to the attacker's lost health. So this first part. Active attacks remove one positive effect on the target. Uh, this is kind of worthless. Uh, you need to be able to, I, I guess, uh, eliminate that crit rate up buff from the Rift of Chaos boss before he attacks, which is why Grayson, who was a previous Matrix hero, was good up until stage 5 where the purse, where the boss gets two stacks of it. So he only removes one. So your team can still be one shot, right? Um, here, she needs to attack in order to remove it, but he attacks, puts up the crit rate buff, and then she'll be able to remove it. So it's it's worthless. Uh, but the second part, when she's attacked, and re like she can reduce pretty good damage. Uh, it's up to 60%. I don't know uh, like where this starts at because he starts at 50% health, so I don't know if it's at 30%, if it's at... 40% and it scales down each 10 percentage point like I don't know um, but it does allow her to actually survive if she goes after the boss on a counter attack which I was surprised at uh, this also does not have a, a, a cooldown or anything like that so she'll just always take reduced damage so that is something to keep in mind so her basic ability gives her attack up <laughs> Um, and it deals 130% damage. I will say, you know, ahead of time, I have not been impressed with her damage. Uh, it's been a bit of a bummer. But uh, her basic does give her attack up. Her special ability deals 160% damage to an enemy, and then this damage scales with the enemy's lost health. Again, I have not been impressed with this. Uh, it's just... It, it doesn't do as much as I thought it would. So... Uh, that is that, and it says if the enemy's a fire hero, immediately recovers 40% of the health and then removes all negative effects. This is nice for sustain, um, <laughs> but uh, again, the damage that she's putting out is is not what I thought it would be. And you'll see her stats. I think her stats are pretty good. <laughs> so she deals 200% damage to an enemy on her ultimate damage scales with the enemy's lost health. If the enemy's health is below 50%, ignores 60% of the enemy's defense and reduces this cooldown by two turns. Good ultimate, but again, the the damage output is just not as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Uh, her stats are pretty good. She's got 7,000 attack, 362% crit damage. Okay, Now, her health, uh, in talking with... Uh, Huron, I don't know how to pronounce his name because he's French, <laughs> but uh, I think he's French. Uh, he was telling me to, to build more health, but uh, you're just on such a timer with the boss. You need to do enough damage, and if I substitute health, uh, attack for health, I just, I don't know. It seems counterproductive. Um, so I've got her in speed and in assassin set. So she's got crit rate, attack percentage, crit damage, health percentage, attack percentage, crit damage, attack percentage, crit damage, attack percentage, crit rate, um, and some defense. This is not a good uh, 
uh, boots, but it is what it is. Crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage, attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage. Her relics, she's got 16% crit damage um, with basic ability and damage received from fire heroes, as well as crit damage scales with targets lost health. So this is a pretty good uh, artifact. She does have defense percentage. Ideally, this should be health, but this is the best one I had because uh, she does additional damage to uh, fire heroes. And then she has an attack percentage grail um, where her damage dealt scales with the target's lost health. So pretty decent relics, I think. Uh, she gets 22 speed in her glyphs as well as 10% crit rate, so that's kind of low. Uh, she gets okay health. As I mentioned, she is fully booked. She does have an Ascension 1 on her base attack, so I do not have her uh, Ascended. Her Ascension gets her attack up too, which is uh, a nice ability, but uh, I don't think it's worth it in regards to, uh, you know, waste Ascension pots on this. Okay, so let's go in here, and, and I'm going to show you, <laughs> okay? So the biggest problem that I have with this hero is she does not remove the crit rate buff from this hero, right, before he attacks. She needs to attack. So if you have her at the back of the order, um, that's good, because then after he has the crit rate stuff up, um, she can then remove it. So if I didn't have Andre in here, right, and I just have a real tank team, and then, you know, we're using somebody like... Uh, I don't know, Florence, right? Actually, Florence is bad here uh, because you don't want the bonus attacks because then he'll go twice, and that's that's bad. Um, who can we bring in for uh, additional support without putting up the crit rate? I mean, uh, no positive effects. I don't want that up. Let's just bring in another damage dealer. Okay, so uh, the main thing that I want to show you here is, one, her trait will not remove that crit rate buff uh, before he attacks, okay? So you still have the same problem before, where you need somebody who has no positive effects, right? You need that debuff, or you're not going to survive. Uh, here, Rosalind's going to do some little chip damage. <laughs> okay, so here, see the crit rate buff goes up. So there were some crits here and there, but she's, she has some pretty good survivability. Now here, even though he's got two stacks up, her, uh, her trait will remove this, okay? So here's her damage, 2%, and she survived the counterattack. So pretty interesting, okay? That is something to note. And now his crit rate buff is gone, right? So that's cool. So Rosalind's going to go. Um, Hakron, uh, Hakron, Blackhorn, I'll put up the attack down. But here, that's the other issue, is this crit rate, he puts it up every turn, right? So she is removing it, but it's still, it. <laughs> you still need someone who can block that. So her trait's like useless. Um, I don't know if they're planning on changing Grayson or something like that, but um, here, I'll just show you the heals. So she healed by 10,000. So, I mean, she's fairly tanky, right? It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, so there probably is something there. But as you see, the damage output, even with her stats, which aren't, f like, they're not fantastic, right? But they're not bad. But here's that, uh, you know, putting up the crit damage again, right? Here's her attack up, and there's the counterattack. So she's surviving it, but yeah, it's just the whole purpose of this boss, you can't attack him a bunch of times, and then you need someone who who disregard, <laughs> disregards that, uh, that crit rate stuff. So that part of her trait is useless, but even then, her damage output is not what we want it to be. So... Uh, I can honestly say that I I think she's useless. 
I truly believe she's useless. I think, you know, somebody like Bocce or or Rosalind has been better for me. So I don't know. Like I I don't know what else to show you. Uh, like I don't I don't even think she's she's viable as your main damage dealer for like Shane like Shane comps. Um so Hori is 220 speed. Maybe I'll just bring him in to see how she does with, you know, a Shane comp. Uh I'll put her in, you know, speed boots again, I guess just to show you. Uh, yeah, something like this, right? There you go. So, uh, her attack, what was it again? 6,383% crit damage at 206 speed, and then she's also giving people attack up, right? Okay, so this is just stage four. And... Prior to this, uh, I can beat stage four with a kind of tank comp, but I want to see if it's even doable with her as your main damage dealer, right? Because there's, there's already teams that can beat stage four, you know, with Opal and stuff like that. So you, you want her for stage five, but her damage output just isn't there. Uh, and then I'm missing Zitlin. Sorry. I'm not good at multitasking. So there's Zitlin. Here's our old usual comp. Uh, just a bunch of damage. We will put uh, the shield on Shane. Shane will give... Ugh, man, Hori's too fast. Whatever. At this point, I don't even care. So Hori's going to go in there. 48, 47 C. Um, so that was what? 3%? 3% damage? Okay, so here's her ultimate. I mean, just in comparison to an, an epic hero, I just... I don't know. The 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 damage output for me just isn't it's not impressive to be honest like Hori's doing what 5% and he's an epic hero right and then that's doing yeah around the same 5% okay revive somebody up mm-hmm so here she's going. Her ultimate should be back up, but she doesn't survive. It just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not impressed. Uh, to me, it's a it's another kind of worthless hero that they threw in here thinking that it was going to be good for Rift of Chaos boss. Um, and I just don't see it. You know, the damage output isn't there. Her survivability is okay, but, you know, she also has Hakran there to <laughs> give max health up. She has Jonathan there to help survive. There was attack down on the boss, and she only lasted, what, three or four rounds? Now you can build her more HP or whatever, um, but you'll take away from her damage stats, so... Yeah, just worthless. I think she's garbage, in my opinion. You know, uh, I'd love to be proven wrong. I've been wrong about many heroes before, so maybe I'm wrong here. But not good. Another Matrix hero that isn't good. And if, if you look at all the Matrix heroes, only one of them has been good, in my opinion. Like, standout, worth the Matrixes, and that's been Ralph. He's the only one. Haruna is not good. Uh, Ralph has been good. Grayson has been worthless in my opinion. Um, he's, you know, viable on what Ash Magisteria, but how many, <laughs> how many different people do we have there that are good? 
you know, so definitely not worth the matrixes. Um, we have a debt, which is kind of like a guild versus environment specialist. So I, I guess that's something to point out. She's okay there. Uh, but again, in my opinion, not worth the money. And then you have uh, Talisine, right? Talisine was supposed to be awesome. He was really exciting to be good. And then all of a sudden they nerfed him like when you were almost done with him. Uh, getting all of his matrixes, and they put this to not working on the boss. So they did rectify that and give us a market, you know, to exchange his, his tokens or whatever. I still got him, but yeah, he's... I, I don't use him anywhere. So uh, worthless. And then a loon, she was the very first one, and she's just garbage. They've They've tried to, you know, remake her I don't know how many times, and she still sucks. So um, in short, guys, I just... I really don't think these heroes are worth it. And in my opinion, I'm probably going to stop going after them. I'll just, uh, I'll spend some money on books and things like that. And if this hero ends up being OP or whatever, then whatever. But, you know, so much of these matrixes have just been wasted. You know, all these heroes are garbage. So, yeah. Um, sorry for the downer video. <laughs> I'm glad I could show you what this hero can do with, you know, 15 of 15 books with somewhat decent gear. Um, and just still not still not cutting it. So that's what we got. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'll catch you on the next one. See you.